What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about what I've been talking a lot to our students about, and that is, what is the goal of a role? You see, every time you come into the gym, if you really want to see yourself level up very fast, you need to have a goal, you need to have a purpose, right? So what I tell my students is a lot of times, your goal when you come in, your goal during rolling isn't always to win, it is to get better. So how do you do that? Right, as a brand new white belt, as a brand new blue belt, as a as a purple belt, as a as a brown, belt, no matter what level it is, when you come in, you should have a goal inside of your roles, right? So, um, the way our class is structured here at Sticks and Stones is, I teach uh, in in a certain genre of techniques for somewhere between four and six weeks, right? Whatever your goal is in rolling, probably should not line up with what I'm teaching. Why? Because everybody knows exactly what I'm doing and, and what we're doing right now at that point in time. So it, it kind of puts their defenses on high. So maybe you're a brand new white belt. The goal for your roles when you come into the gym is to defend yourself better, right? To put yourself in better positions, right? So, and when you're in those positions, it's, it's, it's to survive a little bit longer. You don't necessarily ever have to win the role, but you have to survive the role, right? Maybe you're getting tapped out by blue belts and it's taking them um, two minutes to tap you out inside of a five minute roll, right? Maybe it's to get to three minutes, maybe it's to get to four minutes, right? And then when you start to get to that blue belt level, right, now your goals begin to change. You're trying to refine certain techniques, right? So you're gonna take this one technique and you're gonna continue to put yourself in the position to try to execute that technique throughout the night over and over and over again. Let's say you're working on something from top side control. Obviously I need to work myself into a top side control position. That way I can work my technique over and over and over again, right? So, and when you get to the next level, it's purple belt and higher, I think that the goals begin to change, right? So it depends upon what you're doing at that point in time. If you're trying to add a new technique into your game, or if you're trying to work in a different area of your game maybe that you're weak at right but I found myself definitely at, at my brown belt level working on one specific thing and that was getting to the back more often right I felt like I had a great top game I felt like my bottom game um, you know, being able to get off the bottom and get back on top was absolutely fantastic but I didn't find myself getting to the back quite enough so it was more of an idea of like different paths to the back right when I got to brown belt and it wasn't one specific way but it was a lots of different ways like how many times can I get to the back inside of a single roll so basically each and every time you come into the gym you need to have a targeted goal for your role like I says with your white belts it's survival it's all about how long can you survive with blue belts it is like gonna narrow it down to that one simple technique right and then when you get above and beyond the blue belt it begins to get a little bit more dynamic and and maybe it's more conceptual like i'm working on an area of my rolling where i'm good or an area of my my um you know wh whatever it is maybe it's your guard passing or maybe it's like a, for me like like finding different ways to get to the back or to get to the back more often during a roll but that's basically what you guys need to be doing is having and setting a goal for your role every time you step into the gym. If you do that, you're gonna see your jujitsu get better each and every time. I know guys, there's nights that you wanna come in, you just wanna roll and you don't wanna think about things, but if you really wanna level up your game, set a goal, work on it, and you're gonna see yourself improve and get a lot better and faster in jujitsu. All right guys, now get out there and train.